Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO set review from Brick by Brick, and today we have the LEGO Star Wars First Order General Poly Bag, set number 5004406 for anyone who cares. And this was released back in 2016, and was available in Toys R Us in the United States for, I believe, $4? It might have been 5 because I think Toys R Us did charge $5 for certain poly bags later on in their life. I don't remember exactly what this one uh, cost to buy, but you know it's in one of the bags that has um, you know the kind of more solid plastic with only being transparent in the center of the back. And you know the poly bag design itself looks pretty cool. Apparently, this is also available um, with May the Fourth purchases overseas in uh, the European Union. Um, but you know it's a decent looking uh, minifigure. And, you know, I didn't pay for this, I got it for free, so, you know, whatever, let's open it up and take a look. So the First Order General itself is not too, like, completely special and unique looking uh, at first glance. Uh, I believe his face is exclusive, and his torso is exclusive. I don't believe his hat uh, is exclusive to this set, I think it came in another, but... It was only in Kylo Ren's command shuttle in this color with this particular printing. So it is not very um, easy to get your hands on. The legs are just plain black. Uh, but, you know, the hat is a cool part. Uh, it's a nice mold. This mold has been reused, but I think it was mostly reused in gunmetal gray and not black. Uh, the face print, though, you know, it's a nice face for something relatively generic. I don't believe this is meant to be a very specific in general or anything just meant to be one to fill out your ranks uh, but you know it, it looks good I like the overall expression there and as far as back printing on the head obviously there's none because you would be able to see it but the torso print on the back looks pretty good uh, the torso printing is very similar to other ones but this torso is exclusive because of the arm printed right here and I don't know that's really cool to me there's arm printing on a 2016 figure that was just in a promotional poly bag available for four dollars and you know that's not super common yes they did it with uh, C-3PO from The Force Awakens but other than that I don't believe any other Star Wars minifigures in promotional poly bags have gotten arm printing and the ones in regular sets get arm printing maybe I think we've only had ones in UCS sets and then uh, Jonna from The Force Awakens Wave 2, or not The Force Awakens, The Rise of Skywalker, Wave 2. And I think that's it as far as in uh, regular retail sets. But, you know, it's uh, definitely cool to get here. So overall, you know, this poly bag, I don't think it's a must-have go out of your way to get it like The, the Force Awakens C-3PO was. But, you know, it, it's not bad if uh, you see it um, for a decent price. I wouldn't... Uh, recommend avoiding it, uh, but, you know, don't feel like this is a figure that you have to have unless you're really a serious Star Wars collector. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.